So uh, today we'll be checking out the WooCommerce point of sale barcode inventory management uh, there and uh, using this plugin basically the uh, admin would now be able to directly scan the products and manage their inventories likewise and this way the admin does not have to manage the inventories manually which in turn saves the time of the admin now uh, basically uh, as we've told you that you can manage the inventory of the products directly so you can scan the products through a barcode scanner they were managing their uh, inventories you can assign the master stock for the product apart from that you can also uh, assign product stock to the respective outlets and uh, this pl plugin also works with the point of sale centralized inventory as well so uh, let's get ahead let's see how this particular plugin works so uh, before uh, proceeding further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you like this particular video do give it a thumbs up now this particular uh, plugin is an add-on uh, uh, basically and uh, it's an add-on uh, to the point of sale system for WooCommerce by uh, Webcool so that uh, plugin must be installed first and uh, thereafter you'll be able to have this uh, plugin uh, workable on your system there and then you'll be able to manage your inventories for your POS uh, there so uh, as we know that uh, we are having uh, the uh, uh, two types of uh, uh, inventories one is the master stock inventory and the centralized uh, stock inventory so let me show you that first so uh, I'll just uh, take you to that section first well we just under the point of sale system and under the general tab I'll show you the uh, two different uh, inventory types that we have so here we have the select inventory type and it is uh, the master stock inventory and the centralized stock inventory so you can choose any one of them so while uh, the uh, admin has selected the inventory type as uh, the master stock inventory now let's see how the uh, product can be assigned using a barcode scanner and uh, for that uh, i'll just show you so we'll go to the point of sale system and then under that we have the outlet so i'll just tap on that so this brings the complete list of outlets that we have and from here what we'll be doing is we'll be editing one of the outlets so i'll just tap here on the edit uh link there and uh, here we have two tabs one is a general one and the other one is manage product so under the general if i scroll down here i have the option to assign the stock uh, to uh, the uh, product so i'll just tap here on the assign stock to product button and this brings up this particular pop-up uh, here and from here the admin can search for a product using the product sku or using the barcode scanner so uh, if uh, uh, in the pos uh, uh, configuration there uh, if the admin has uh, configured uh, for using the master stock inventory uh, then a pop-up would be displayed uh, with the product result so you need to scan your products barcode and that will bring up the complete details of your uh, of your product itself so here you can see that I've scanned the uh, product and the details of the product uh, have been populated here and here we have the option to set up the product master stock and the product pure stock uh, for this particular product that's the premium quality so you can also enable or disable the product for uh, as per your own requirement for this uh, particular uh, outlet as well so uh, whatever uh, product master stock and the pure stock you set here and tap here on the update would be assigned to this particular product itself so to assign the same you just need to tap here on the update button and we are done assigning uh, the product master stock and the pos uh, stock to the particular product that's the premium quality uh, product itself now let me show you the, the same uh, for this particular product so for that i'll just take it to the point of sale and outlets and here i'll just tap here on the uh, manage uh, product section so now you can see the premium quality product is here and its master product stock is 100 and uh, the uh, peer status is uh, enabled and the assigned peer stock is 50 as we did here 150 you can also disable it by choosing disable and you can then tap here on the update button to uh, make the changes and then the peer status would be disabled now this was in the case uh, when uh, the uh, admin has uh, chosen the uh, configuration there for the master stock inventory now uh, we'll also see in the case of a centralized one we'll ha only have this available product stock section that we can set up so the master product stock and the assigned pure stock uh, is in the case of uh, 
uh, master stock inventory now uh, if I take you back to the configuration section once again let me open the settings so here on the settings if I go to the section that's the select inventory type so it was for the master stock inventory now if we have chosen the central stock inventory now in this case how we can assign the products there let's see that so uh, for that let me take you back to the the section there now in that case uh, here you can see that uh, we can search the uh, product by the market code or the SKU and uh, that would uh, successfully get the product details and from here you'll be able to set up the product boost stock and you can also uh, set up the uh, POS product status uh, for this particular product that's the flying ninja and after setting this up you can just tap here on the update button now what this does is that it basically updates the available product stock of the uh, product that's the flying ninja as you can see so in the case uh, of uh, uh, let me go here so this is in the case when uh, we have chosen the select inventory type as centralized stock inventory so in the case of centralized we have the product boost stock that can be set up and then after we are done on the update then when we check the product there for that particular outlet uh, we can see the available product stock for that uh, uh, product itself and now in the case of variable products the admin needs to specify the inventory stock for all of its variations so now we can uh, uh, assign this stock to the product and we'll be able to set up the master stock inventory and uh, the centralized as well for that so uh, basically uh, I've navigated again to the point of sale and then outlets here so I'll just scroll down I'll tap here on the assign stock uh, there so we'll have to uh, search the product by barcode or the SKU so uh, you can scan your product and that will bring up the details of the product here so uh, for now I'll just uh, so it's a product using its SKU so I'll just tap here in the search now and you can see that the uh, product has been populated here and this is one of the variations uh, of the product that's the black color and from here uh, the products available stock you can see it's 30 and the product master stock uh, is 100 and the PS uh, stock has been set as 20 so we can change that up and we can tap here in the update button thereafter so we can set up the master stock and the PS stock here as per your requirement and then we have tapped on the update. Now let me uh, search uh, the other variation of this uh, particular product by scanning the barcode or uh, using the SKU there and tapping here on the uh, uh, search button. So I'll just uh, enter the SKU here and I'll just tap here on the search button. Now you can see that uh, we have the product SKU and it's the green uh, variation of the product there. The available stock is 30 so we can set up the product master stock from here and the product pure stock as well so you can update these two values here and then you can just tap here on the update button uh, to update the same so this is in the case of master stock inventory how you can uh, basically first search the product by barcode and then update the product master stock and the products pure stock and uh, you can also change the pure product status as enable or disable Accordingly, then you can just tap here on the update button and we are done updating the master stock inventory for the variable product there. Now after this the admin can with the uh, updated stock in the manage products section wherein the POS owner can search for the main variation product and can click on the set variation stock. So uh, let me show you that. So let's cancel this out. And uh, now if I go to the manage product section here and then we'll be going to the same product there uh, that uh, the uh, variable product that we had so I'll just scroll down so here we need to tap here on the uh, button that's the uh, and uh, here we just need to tap on the set variation stock and that shows us the uh, uh, the current uh, master stock the available stock and the assigned PS uh, quantity so this was 100 that we had set and this was 20 and this was the available uh, stock of the uh, product itself. So uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself. Uh, that's the uh, uh, WooCommerce point of sale system barcode inventory management. And I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. You can also contact us through www.webcool.com 
forward slash contact. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.